Hi, my name is Kendra, business coach for vending machine entrepreneurs. In this video, I'm going to show the exact steps how to start a successful vending machine business to create passive income and build an asset that you can hand down to your kids. If you're new and have a lot of questions, you're in the right place. So the best way to start this business or any business is to make a plan. This plan will become the strategy you use to help you to launch your business the right way. One of my favorite sayings is if you fail to plan, then you must be planning to fail. So we don't wanna go into a business that's gonna fail. So let's get some answers to these frequently asked questions. First question, do I need a business license or what do I need to get started? So the laws are different in every state and every local area. So you may need a business license or just a seller's permit. And in some places you might need both. Whatever the case may be, you need to get these things first, not after you place a couple machines. You wanna make sure you're compliant right away so that you're not at risk of getting shut down or fined, especially after you've invested money into quality vending machines and other tools. Do I need an LLC? So you don't need an LLC to get started, but it is a good idea to have one. An LLC provides you with tax benefits as well as some asset protection if something should happen uh, in your business. Whatever you choose to do, it's, it's a good decision to go and talk to a professional like a lawyer or an accountant that can evaluate your personal situation and let you know what's the best way to proceed. Where do I find a vending machine? So unlike a lot of coaches online, I don't think that you should buy your machines from eBay or Craigslist or OfferUp. You're new to this business, so the last thing you need to do is buy a machine that has a whole bunch of problems that you have no idea how to fix. You need to find a reliable dealer in your area or online that you can purchase your equipment from. But most of these dealers will offer tech support, training, and even a warranty. And also when you're ready to expand your business, you know that you have a source that you can go back to over and over again versus uh, if you bought from a private seller off of eBay or Craigslist, that person may not have any more machines or the next person you encounter may not have the same quality machine that you purchased the first time. How do I find a location for my machine who do I talk to and what do I say? So everybody has their preference for how they like to find locations. Some people like to hire locators. Some people like to go door to door. Um, others run ads on Google or Facebook, but I like to cold call. So cold calling is just when you pick up the phone and you call a business that's not expecting your call. So I just like this method because it, you could talk to more people in less time than it would take you to drive to a location and go and speak with somebody. And you get more, you get a better chance of reaching somebody than if you're sending out random emails that may not get open. Finding a location is one of the uh, toughest parts of vending and you will need to have some diligence and be consistent, but it will definitely pay off in the end. So you wanna try to find locations that have um, lots of people during the day or where people spend a large amount of time. So like an office building, people are there throughout the day working or a car dealership or a car service uh, place where people are waiting for long periods of time to get their car service. So the best thing to do when you're gonna cold call is to create a script ahead of time. And then you find the person in charge and you pitch your script to them. Another good way to find locations is just to ask friends and family for referrals. And you wanna get some professional business cards printed up so that you can have something to give out with your contact information, like your email address, phone number, or your website. So why do I need a website for a vending business? Every business needs a website. So the best way for local businesses to let customers know that they're open is by having a website. A lot of operators skip this step and that's why they are, are not growing and they have a hard time finding new locations when they need to move their equipment or to expand their business. All you need is just a one page 
simple um, website that has your contact information, service area, and the services and products that you provide. So another question I get all the time is I was told the best way to find a location is to offer commission. How much should I offer? So zero. Paying commission is completely optional. There are several locations that are going to ask you for commission like malls, hospitals, barbershops and salons, but there's tons of other ones that won't even bother to ask you for commission or they don't or they'll ask you how much it costs for them to have the machine placed at their location. So the best way to land a location is just really to uh, showcase the quality products and services that you're going to provide to that location. You don't want to give away money, especially if nobody's asking for it. Where do I buy the products from and how much should I charge? So most people, including myself, get their products from local wholesale stores like BJ's, Costco, or Sam's Club. You can search for others in your area, but those are the main ones. Uh, you get the best pricing when you go to the wholesale clubs versus going to a Kroger or Publix or something like that, a, a regular grocery store. So as far as for pricing strategies, I have a strategy that I like to use, but the best and easiest way is to go to a gas station or a grocery store in the area where you're going to place your equipment and go look at the prices. That way you know about what to charge. And then don't forget that vending is a service and it's a convenience. So make sure you're charging enough so that you're making a decent profit and not feeling like you're working for free. Do I need car readers on all my machines or just on the ones that are making the most money? Every machine that you own should have a card reader for a few reasons. So the first reason is that card readers increase sales by up to 30%. They offer the customer multiple ways to pay besides cash. So people can use a credit card, a debit card, a gift card, and they can even pay with their phone. The other reason you want to have a card reader is because it's going to help you to run your business more effectively and efficiently. So you're going to be able to track your sales. You're going to be able to track the inventory in each machine. And that way, you know when to go fill and you're not wasting gas running around town, going to machines that don't need to be filled or losing out on sales because you didn't go soon enough and there's no product in the machine for people to buy. What other tools or equipment do I need to run this business? So a few things I use to run my business every day, uh, a coin sorter, a bill counter, and a, a heavy duty totes and a hand truck to uh, help bring products inside of the location. So you guys should definitely check out my vending, uh, my vending machine toolkit and see all the other products that I use every day in my business. Now that I've answered the most frequently asked questions, here's the next step. Book a one-on-one -on -one call with me so that I can look over the plan that you just created and develop a program specifically for you. If you're serious about starting your vending machine business, then I'm here to help. Let's get to work.